So let's just give you a quick demo of uh, Miracast on Windows 10 with a tablet which will show Continuum. So we've got uh, uh, Microsoft XL Mobile running here and you'll see we've got one, two, three, four, five, six menus at the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven um, sub-menu items there. One, two, three, four, we are three and a half columns. What we're going to do is going to connect to that Miracast screen in the background. We go to connect. You'll find the Miracast screen there and uh, simply connect to it there. And what will happen is that will switch over. And in this case, uh, the last time we connected, we connected it as a an extended screen. So now what we can do is, um, well, actually, with a finger, we can't. Uh, what we need to do is connect the... Um, is connect the mouse. We're going to do that now because I've got one here. Luckily, this has a USB port. And with a mouse, I can just connect a standard sort of Logitech keyboard mouse here. And what I'm going to do off screen is simply just drag that over to the big screen. And we'll go full screen on it. Oops. Come on, come on, come on. Hey, 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 come on. Grab the right bit of it. And that, full screen. Now, I smooth the tablet out of the way. That proves that it was running on the tablet. Now you can see at the top, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve columns, and a full set of, um, so a full set of menu items there. And now the tablet is out of the way. It's completely, uh, completely wireless, of course. There's no uh, power connected to that. Oh, rotation wasn't locked. And then we can go and use it as a standard sort of uh, desktop type application. And that's done through Universal uh, Windows Platform and Continuum. And Continuum sends the message to the app that uh, screen sizes have changed. Now, on Windows Phone, that's going to be uh, slightly different because um, the way it work, works is you'll run the app. Now let's see if we can uh, can demonstrate this, and I'll bring this in closely. First, we will dis dis disconnect the big screen here. I'm trying to do this all uh, in one take, so you know there's no tricks going on. I'm going to switch to Windows Mobile 10 here. Uh, we're on uh, Lumia 830. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Obviously, you need to do that off screen. Oops. All right, and then we're going to switch to. Excel here. Where are we? Somewhere we have Excel running. No, we don't. Um, where did I put it? Again, I want to do this live. Excel preview. So we're just going to bring up Excel here. First time I've used it. I've tested it with the weather app before. So, what we've got here is, um, in fact, that was the last, last one used, so I'm going to open that. The same app, this is a Universal Windows app, it's running on Windows 10 on Lumia 830 here. And as you can see, well, one and a half, two, two and a half columns there. Same app though, and the same data, it's actually running from OneDrive. What you can do now is do the same thing. We're in German, what we'll do, Verbinden, which is connect, and we'll go straight for that um, screen there. And that will then project using Miracast to the screen. Now, you'll see something different here because what's happening is Continuum is not enabled on Lumia 830. In fact, many of the other devices because it doesn't support, the hardware inside doesn't support dual screen mode. And there is no way to do single screen uh, connecting, connection settings to get the full experience. So I can't tell the app that I've now got a 1920 by 1080, um, uh, 1080 display there. Let's uh, go to Forbidden again. It's not going to let me choose a different display mode, unfortunately. Now then, when you get to Windows 10 on new Lumia devices, 
what's going to happen is that um, that will project up onto that screen in Continuum will tell that app, just as it did on Windows 10 desktop, that there's a big screen there. That will resize, uh, re-architect itself, and, and the app will jump from this screen to that screen. And what you'll have here is the Continuum Control Panel, which actually acts as a touchpad. You'll be able to move around, touch and click, and hopefully, and we haven't seen this demo, but I'm pretty sure you'll get pop-up uh, keyboard when needed. So you'll be able to do this sort of thing uh, with a big screen. You'll also be able to connect Bluetooth, uh, Bluetooth keyboard and mouse, so you can have a full desktop experience. But currently, that isn't working. Currently, um, the general knowledge is that uh, Continuum won't work on existing Lumia devices because the uh, platform doesn't support the, the dual screen mode needed to run a uh, continuum. So that's really quite sad. What I really hope is that uh, at some point, continuum will know on Windows 10 Mobile that there is a keyboard and mouse connected and that it will just switch off this screen and just run the single screen over Miracast. Uh, and then you can carry on using your app um, productively with a keyboard and mouse. That's one way that potentially it could be working, but at the moment it's not. So let's just disconnect that just to prove that we were running the Miracast there. And I'm running a Screen Bream Pro. Important is firmware here is 1340. And that seems to be working quite smoothly now with uh, Windows 10 devices. In the past, there were definitely, definitely issues with that. And uh, let's just go back to. The tablet here running Windows 10 and over Wi-Fi, Miracast, working over there, over there. I'm just going to put that tablet down again. I want to bring that, uh, that app into to full screen. And what I want to say is that, um, oh, let me just grab the app. Come on. Mm -hmm. uh, bring it into full screen. What I want to say is the, um, and I hope you can see this now, I'm just going to put a, put a light on that keyboard so you can hopefully see it. Okay, let's wait for that to get into focus. And behind, right, what I want you to look at is me um, clicking something. So click, okay, delay is about half a second there, but the mouse is extremely responsive. I hope you can see it. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to zoom right up to the. I'm going to put this a little bit further behind, and I hope that you can actually see the mouse moving as I move my finger up the top there. Can you see that? Mm. Maybe here's better. So the responsiveness there is really good. We've got uh, responsiveness down to a uh, well under 100 milliseconds, I'm imagining. As you do big screen movements, there is a slight uh, delay. Um, but that is hopefully going to improve the things like AC Wi-Fi support between receivers and senders but for the time being it is quite responsive and you can potentially use uh, a cheap Windows 10 tablet and remember these go down to $99 now a cheap Windows 10 tablet to run your Windows 10 apps I'm just going to see if I can jump that onto the second screen there you go that works nicely and bring that up so you've got a nice dual screen mode there using just Windows 10 Universal Apps. So I'll leave you just with just one question. How much longer do we need Windows desktop apps on Windows desktop devices? And how much longer is it going to be important for us to have full desktop experience on tablets such as this? Uh, comments, please, on that. That'd be good to hear your thoughts. Uh, in the meantime, lots of testing going on with Continuum Windows 10, and um, hopefully, as we move towards uh, October, a new Lumia launch and a Windows 10 mobile launch with Continuum. Uh, really, some deep dive work into that going through October and November. 
Thanks for watching. My name's Chippy at Chippy on Twitter, umpcboarder.com, and we'll catch you on the next video.